today I'm the one who are going to present an online board work one And the given topic that I've chosen is number one. So number one, excess electrons are placed on a small lead sphere with mass 8 grams so that its net charge is negative 3.20 times 10 raised to negative 9 column. So the first given is find the number of excess electrons on the sphere. So the next problem is how many excess electrons are there per lead atom? And there's an additional is the atomic number of that is 82 and its atomic mass is 207 gram per mole. The first thing to do is to write the given on the problem. So what are the given? The first one we have the mass of the small lead sphere which is 8 grams. And we have the net charge, so it was represented by capital Q because it is a net charge. So it is negative 3.20. Okay, it will be negative 3.20 times 10 raised to negative 9 column. And another given that I was noticed as important is the molar mass of the lead, which is. 207 gram per mole so we can write the atomic mass or represent it as m sub a which is 207 gram per mole now let's solve for letter a we are going to find the number of excess electron on the sphere or on the small lead sphere okay we all know on our past lessons that the charge is equal to an integer times the electron where integer is represented by n where, where n is equal to 1, 2, 3 or any value and for us to get the number of excess electron we just simply isolate the equation so we solve and we get this equation now you have charge divided by the electron and we all know that the value of the charge is negative 3.20 times 10 raised to negative 9 column and the value of electron as we all know on our past lesson is negative 1.6 times 10 raised to negative 19 and if we compute it we calculate it we get the number of electrons which is 2 times 10 raised to 10. So that is the number of electron. On letter B, we are looking for the excess electrons present per lead atom. Since we are looking for an excess electron of an element, we now integrate some concept of chemistry here. So we all know that the number of mole is equal to a mass of the substance over its smaller mass. So, we all know that the mass of a lead sphere, small lead sphere, is 8 grams, and the molar mass is 207 grams per mole. And if we are going to calculate this value, we get 0 0.0386 mole present on the substance. And if we are going to remember that we have another way of solving the atomic or the number of mole present, which is given by the number of mole is equal to the number of particles present divided by the Avogadro's number. So we are going to write this. But we already know that the number or the value of Avogadro's number is 6.023 times 10 raised to 23, right? And we also know 
the number of moles. We already know the number of or the value of Avogadro's number. Now we are looking for the number of particles present. So how are we going to do that? The first thing that we need to do is to isolate the equation. We have this and let's multiply both sides by the Avogadro's number so we can eliminate it and we are going to get this equation now so now we can get or we can compute the number of particles present on the lead sphere so the first one we have the number of mole which is 0 0.0386 mole 0 0.0386 mole and we can, we multiply it to the Avogadro's number which is 6. 0 to 3 times 10 raised to 23. If we calculate it, we get 2.32 times 10 raised to 22 atoms. So, here is the number of atoms present on the lead sphere. But we are not yet done here because we are looking for the excess electron per lead atom. We already know the excess electron on the sphere, and we already know the number of at lead atom present on the sphere. Now, to get the excess electron per lead atom, we are going to get the ratio of excess electron per atom. So, the first thing we need to do is to get the ratio of the excess electron and the number of atom present. So the excess electron is 2 times 10 raised to 10 and the number of atom, lead atom present is 2.32 times 10 raised to 22. Then divide it, we get 8.62 times 10 raised to negative 13 electron per atom so that is our answer